What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bring you guys part 3 for my playthrough 1, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So guys, in the last episode, we actually completed the Great Sky Island and made our way down to the land of Hyrule. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with this open world journey and doing whatever we want. But we're going to be doing a bunch of uh, shrines in this, uh, I forget what the land's called, just like the main Hyrule field. And we are going to be unlocking the paraglider on top of that. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But we last ended off right in front of this shrine. So I'm going to do it. There's plenty of shrines in this first little area of the game. So we're going to be grinding out a bunch of shrines. Like I said, on top of that, obviously getting that paraglider because that paraglider is a gorgeous little item. But we got shape rotation. So this is going to be a nice little shrine and uh i played a lot on my main account like my main account's probably like i'd say like we have like 60 shrines that we've been grinding doing a bunch of different stuff on my main account that's where i do my guides and all that stuff which i will be uploading more and more guides but again this past week if you guys like keep up with my other content i was actually uh i was actually uh on vacation so that's why i didn't really upload but just be prepared for multiple different uploads this week we got uh a couple parts of this a few guides coming out here and then on top of that we got the pokemon content which is gonna be awesome but what we want to do from here is actually take this little thing rotate it around so we can actually fit it through right here and there we go once we get a fit through there we can create ourselves a lovely little bridge place that down there and then make our way across beautiful perfect easy just like that just like that Okay, so from here, it's pretty much the same thing. We kind of just want to, like, rotate these items and kind of bring them across. So I'm going to actually grab you, and I'm going to turn you. Which way do I want to turn this thing? Turn this on the ground this way, and I think right here is the way. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. That was perfect. That was perfect. And then from here, if we want to get, I believe, okay, there's an item here. So I actually want to get this item first, and I think if I can just place it like that. Can I get on top of that? Actually, I might have to put it in this little, this little hole. Yeah, there we go. We got to put in this little hole. We can hop up there, hop up there, hop up here once more. And get the chest for this shrine. If you guys didn't know, every single shrine contains a chest. And I'll show you guys something in just a second. This one's going to have a nice little hasty elixir. But every single shrine contains a chest. And if you look on your map and you go and you hover over the shrine, we don't really have any of the map done because we haven't hit any of the towers yet. But if you hover over any shrine, see how there's a little chest symbol next to the shrine? It's because we got the... Uh, we got the chest in this shrine. If there's no chest symbol next to a shrine that you did, it means you forgot a chest in there. So if you're looking 100%, looking to figure out everything, make sure you get all the, uh, make sure you get a, get all that good stuff. But this one's a little tricky right here. You, you want to kind of just like finizzle this thing and like rotate it to the side. And I believe I could do it like this and kind of get it and push that side through. Yeah, and there we go. And just push them both through. But once you can push that through, then you can pretty much finish up this shrine by bringing this over here. Placing it in the position. Uh, I believe we have to flip it, actually. And put it like that. Actually, would that do it? No, we might want to do it like this. Hold up, this is a pain. I don't even remember how the last time I did it. I think I just, like, kind of, like, just did it. Let me see it that way. That actually can work. Yep, there we go. We can actually hop up here, hop up there, and boom. Finish the shrine. First one for today's video. Like I said, plenty of shrines on this island. We're going to be cranking them out. I believe we should be able to get done, like, five at least five i feel like maybe six maybe six it depends because again i want to get the paraglider too so we're going to take up a lot of time doing that 45 minute to an hour episodes i think are perfect for this playthrough like i said it's gonna be a big playthrough i said it in like part one or two it's gonna be like a hundred parts this game has so much to do which i absolutely love so hopefully you guys do enjoy the content just come over here and hang out with me for some extra content because i know you guys like the pokemon content so it'll probably be double uploading a good bit we well, finished that shrine. Shrines create a nice little fast point. And I have a shrine over to my left. But I want to go. And did I just die? No. I thought I died because it just stuck. But the travel actually talked to me at the perfect time. And he's going to talk about the, 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 the goop. It's going to uh, take your strength, take your hearts, all that good stuff. But if we just run through it quick, it's going to be no problem. So it kind of sucks going from my main account to like this account because I have no stamina bar. Like my stamina bar is pretty high. I have like two full wheels and like a little bit extra so i'm able to run a lot farther so from here we're just kind of just like slowly getting after it look at my weapons weapons are awful but yeah we'll take it we'll get after it we will get after it but i'm gonna grab some apples over here apples are gonna be my best friend early on in the game there we go and we got a few chew jellies which i actually want they're actually gonna be useful later in the game 
especially like fusing and getting rid of like mud and stuff you can sh uh, fuse arrows to chew jelly or just throw it and use it as water and it can clean up certain surfaces which is really really good but there it is i already ran out of my stamina bar <laughs> it's gonna happen plenty of times today because i'm so used to having the bigger stamina bar but we make our way towards our brand new first area. It's going to be Lookout Landing. And this is going to be like the main spot for you, for especially early game. You're going to come back here a lot because they got a praying station in here. They got a shop you can sell for rupees. They got your first armor set if you can get enough rupees. And they just got a ton of different things that can help you out early game. They got a cooking station in there too. Again, everything is just perfect. Well, you make our way over here. We got a little cutscene. We got my boy Link. It's you. You're back. Yo, what's up, my man? How you doing? They're all surprised that I'm back. Princess Zelda went missing. We already know that. We're on the mission. We're on the mission. Selfie just leads us on our way. He shows us actually the castle and the building that Pure is at. So that's who we're going to want to go talk to is Pure. She's going to hook us up with like all the goodies. So let's follow that little station over there. And I cannot wait to actually hit this tower right here because the towers give you the map and it's all good. If you guys are playing early game, if you just talk to this guy right here, he's going to open up the bottom part. Which is going to be the bunker, and the bunker is going to be filled with other stuff. But I think you have to talk to Pura first. Yeah, you have to talk to Pura first. So once you talk to Pura, come back to him, talk to him, and you will be, you'll be set. I'll open up the bunker. You have cooking station, all that good stuff. We make our way over here, and of course, there it is again. There it is again. Ran out of stamina. That's twice so far. That's twice so far. What? That is twice so far. The hair, those eyes. Duh, duh, doc. Dr. Pura, the swordsman. The swordsman has returned. Of course I've returned. Who else is going to save Princess Zelda? It's always got to be me. She comes storming out here. Pura, what's good? And Pura's like all high tech and now she's really cool. Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Head of Lookout Landing. I love the uh, whole Link story. I really like his arm. I really like how they put the arm in there. And the story gets so good in this game. They have like a Tears of the Kingdom quest where you actually have to go get the tears. Every time there's like a cool cutscene and it just adds his story more. So it just shows and more and more Zelda about it. Go beneath Hyrule Castle. You discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. Correct. <laughs> that must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then later, you wake up on a sky island. Saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rawlu. The master sword disappears. Man, the story's so good. <laughs> I cannot wait to like fulfill it in this playthrough for you guys. And find your way here. It's so good. Like, everything unravels and everything is just absolutely amazing. I love the story and how they did it. You got Raru is a great character. You got everything about it on how that mummy came in here, who Raru is, the hand, what it does. It's just so good. It's just so good. If you guys have been playing this game for a while on your own, let me know what you guys think of the stories down in the comment section down below. But after we get done talking to Pyrrha, she's going to be like, boobity bobbity boobity bobbity Go to the Hyrule Castle. Go talk to this guy and then come back here. Once you get the paraglider, because that's what you gotta do. Cool. So they're gonna mark something on your map, or no, it's just gonna uh, give us the character profiles. I like the character profiles, because you can always go back and look at it. To the kingdom of Hyrule complete. Beautiful, lovely. Now you can let me go and start to go head towards the castle in order for us to get the what's it called? The paraglider. So we gotta make our way towards the castle. There are gonna be a few shrines. Like I said, shrines are awesome. And in the last episode when I was falling through the sky, we got marked a few shrines. You know, one here, one here. And we can go do that green one. That green one should be right in front of us. That's what's always so good about uh falling through the sky. Is uh you can ping all of the uh shrines that you see in the air. So it's really, really good. It's really convenient. And the pings are just awesome. They just help out so much. Is this green ping? Yeah, it's green ping. 
We're just gonna be green ping right on that shrine. I did it when we were in the sky. We're gonna go do that. What we got here? Nice little silent princess. And what was that? Nice little gravestone. I dedicate this monument in memory of the souls lost to Calamity Zelda. Okay, so Zelda put that there. Cool, cool, cool. So again, this game takes place right after what happened at the end of the first Legend of Zelda. Well, Breath of the Wild. If you guys haven't played the game, highly recommend it. Get on top of that, yo. Like, seriously, what are you doing? Haven't played Breath of the Wild yet. The game's been out for like seven years. It's actually the first game released on the Switch. And it, it was just unreal. One game of the year. This is ten times better because basically Breath of the Wild on steroids. It's just a lot better. But Breath of the Wild is still incredible. And this game should definitely win game of the year. Granted, it is up against a few very good competitors, like the Hogwarts Legacy, and I heard that Star Wars game is actually really good. We make our way to a combat training shrine, and these ones are, I, I actually don't mind. I actually really like the combat training. They kind of just show you, like, basics and stuff, and on top of that, uh, get a little bit of practice in. So, early game, it's cool, but for me now, I can just, like, whoop up on it. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instructions. Gotcha, man. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks to create an opening that you can use to strike in the back. I forgot that uh, back strikes do a lot more damage. So there we go. We can side hop. We can go here. Oh my man. What you got? Jump. And then we can get a nice little flurry rush. So there's a nice little dodge. We're just teeing off on this guy. Bop, bop, bop. And there we go. Do a back flip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Cool. Cool. So there's teaching you how to parry and all that, how to jump, all that good stuff. So we're gonna sit here, run away from the swing, and we're just gonna backflip. Okay, I missed the first one, but you can double backflip and get the flurry rush sometimes, which is awesome. So if you're fighting enemies and you think they're gonna swing, just start spamming backflip. You're bound to dodge one of them, get flurry rush going. So now we got a perfect guard. We got a nice little parry. It's when you hold your shield out, and when they swing, you hit A. You can bounce them back. There we go. And then you get a nice little parry. And that's actually good at creating openings. If someone's going to swing, pull out your shield, parry it with the shield, and then you can just start swinging at them. But there you go. After all three of those, I think you're good. Now you got to do a charge stack. There you go. Nice little charge stack. You can finish them off, collect all those good items, and finish off the shrine. An easy shrine. We're chilling. Your mastery of these techniques have earned you access. Proceed within. I love the art style of this game, too. Like the ancient ruins and like technology on top of that, like it's just amazing. We'll pick up a zone eye charge. We got a nice little bow. Get a little chest at the end of here. Like I said, every shrine's got a chest, and and a lot of them are, will be like blood. Some of them will be like blessings or like shrines like this where you can just get the chest easily, and others will be like, okay, you gotta find the chest. But there we go. Shrine is all done. There is two shrines. If I can get done at least four or five, we can get actually a stamina vessel in today's video, which can be really good for us. Boost our stamina, which I love. But yeah, every four shrines you do, you get a light of blessing at the end of them. So every four light of blessings you have, you can cash them in for either a heart container or a stamina vessel. And what I like to do is just go back and forth. I like to bounce back and forth with them. So I like to go heart, stamina vessel, heart, stamina vessel, heart, stamina vessel. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I love it. I like to do that. So cool. We finish off that shrine, and now we can head into Hyrule Castle. Or at least what's on the ground of it, right? Because Hyrule Castle's in the sky, and the only way to get up it is to travel up the tower and have enough stamina to glide over there. But that's that's an endgame thing. You really don't want to really don't want to ruin this beautiful masterpiece by going to the castle early on, right? I mean, I do it for guides for you guys, but like for my playthrough, I, I don't want to do that. Like I have the Hylian Shield just because I made a guide for you guys, but I don't want to use it. Because, like, I shouldn't have that right now. <laughs> like, I shouldn't have that right now. I'm actually just going to walk on this side here, loop around, and just make my way towards this little yellow dot. This little marker on my map, which is just up and around the corner. So, keep running, keep going. We can actually slash, see if we can find some restless crickets. There we go. I was looking for them. Create some nice potions later in the game. We got some dragonflies over here, and they just keep disappearing. I don't think you collect those ones. But, dude, just look at this land. There's another shrine over there. Is that in the... In this range, it is. So there we go. Mark that shrine. We can do that eventually. We have two shrines on the left side. I know there's like plenty full. I think there's like ten in this uh in this little area. I believe there's ten. Nine we can do right now. The tenth one is going to be on top of the flying castle. When I got the Hylian shield, I, I found that shrine, but I never did it. I never did it though. Reason being, again, I do not want to do it until like the end. But yeah, we're just gonna keep making our way up here. Once we talk to this guy, we can head back to Pira, and that's when we get the glider. And the glider's just so useful. 
lying around stuff and things. Lying. Doing all the good stuff. Well, here we go. Instead of going inside, the dude that we're looking for is actually up top there. I think that's one of them. There's little guards up there. So what you want to do is come to this side area. You can actually like build like a little bridge or something like that with your uh, ultra hand. But the easiest way is to just hop up here and start climbing, right? <laughs> like you got enough stamina to climb up this wall. You might as well do it. So we're going to do that. We're going to step up here. We're going to step up here. And we're going to say, hey, yo, what's up, my man? So make our way to the first gate house and we make our way to Haas. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something, he says. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive, and all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe, too? Of course it is. Kind of. A little bit, hopefully. <laughs> That's what we're hoping. We're hoping Princess Zelda's safe. So she fell down a dark hole, and I'm pretty sure anybody who fell down a dark hole like that would pretty much die on impact, but it's Princess Zelda and Link, and we're in The Legend of Zelda, so should be fine. But there she is. My girl. Princess Zelda. She's safe. It's just like a light figure. And that's very confusing early on into the game. It's weird. And like Link Caesar. And it goes up to this island. Not really. It just goes up to the sky. <laughs> Wait, what? Weird. Turn into light and fly off. How strange. Just an emergency situation. See, I didn't finish the story yet. So, like, I don't know too much. But I know a good bit. I know a good bit. But there we go, finish that off. Now, all we gotta do is make our way back to Pure. And this is where I wish I had the glider, right? But actually, I can just go here and make life 10 times easier and just fast travel to the shrine. So we pretty much make it halfway instead of running from the castle all the way over. We can just make a halfway mark. The loading screens aren't long in uh, this game either, which was a huge, huge quality of life change that they made. Huge quality of life change. Uh, the, the loading screens on the old game was like triple time this. I think triple time. And they, it's actually usually works quicker than it just did. But still. Love it so much. I love all the quality of life changes they added to this game. So I'm going to make my way over here. Is there any items I can pick up here? I like a good old item. There's a nice little shield. So we can search stuff. Well, it's not really a shield. It's a nice little pot lid. But we'll take it. <laughs> I guess we'll take it. A little pot lid action. <laughs> like, probably the worst shield in the game. Nice little pot lid. <laughs> Thing over here for me any items i always like items but yo there's a way to oh wait there's a hardy lizard i kind of want him wait i just said i made the sound that i got him but it didn't say i got, I got him did i get him you get a hardy lizard i did not but yo there's a way to duplicate items and i'll actually do it for you guys in a second just so we can buy armor because i'm going to need some uh some rupees so i'll duplicate the rubies and sell them for rupees just so we can buy some better armor but yeah, you need a glider and it's super simple. I might make a guide on it, but I'll do it for you guys here. It's pretty cool. And it's, again, it's so simple. You can legit do it in 5.3 seconds. Make my way here. Can I open these doors? Cool. That's a cool way to open the doors, too. <laughs> that look awesome. So make your way back to Lookout Landon. Gotta go talk to Pura, and then uh, we should be chilling after that. Give me the glider. Let's go, baby. Give me the glider. Make a ladder. You tell me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off. Yep, you think I'm lying? I swear I'm not lying. On everything. On the Hyrule Castle, I'm not lying. She tells me to bring out the pure pad. And she's gonna show us how to map stuff. So we have to add map data by going over to the tower. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Give me the glider already so I can duplicate items. Like <laughs> it's so convenient too. Give you guys a quick guide inside of here for the people who watch you know people who watch my playthrough you guys get a little bit of guide well there's a tower there's towers on every single piece of the map every time you get to them after this point you can uh, just do them on your own you can just hop up into the tower collect the data and then go from there and it adds to your map There's my boy right there. He opens the emergency exit and all that stuff. And she's just showing us around there. You got the shop right there. You can buy some arrows. You can buy a nice little set of armor for a beginning yeah. game. Which is big, but... For now, we're just waiting to get that glider. I can buy arrows. Oh, baby. So, go over here. Talk to Pura once more. She'll give you the glider. You'll get cooking. Alright, Pura. Let's do this. 
And I really like how they uh, made the map open up in this game. Whereas in old game, you just like go up to the tower, you put your Sheikah Slate down and it hey. adds it to the map. But in this game, you actually scan hey. the area, so it's really, really cool. I, I like this cutscene coming up. So she turns on the switch, we are ready to roll. Put me up there. Put me up there. Open the tower. I can explode through. So cool. <laughs> it looks so cool. All the towers go off. I think she starts all the towers too. Looks so sick. Like how the light shows the Sky Islands up there. The Sky Islands are cool too. That's a big part of what they added to this game. The Sky Islands. They're the, they're the best. It's extra land. All the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Gorgeous, lovely. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hold your period pad over the terminal. There we go. Activates the tower, and then we can hop inside of it. Can I skip this cutscene? No, I can't. It's actually a really cool cutscene. <laughs> I really like it. All right, Skyview Tower's on your map. All I have to do is go up it. And now it's a travel point, too. So anytime you see, like, those little things, it, it, it's, a, it's a fast travel point, which is awesome. There it is. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for the paraglider. So she finally gives us a paraglider after all this time. And pretty much this is this is like the last bit of talking you have to do with really anybody. Besides like when you hit the main quest. But there we go. Cool. She gives us that and we can legit just hop up onto this thing. Why? What I hit? I clicked like something for her. Now she's telling me a bunch of things. But now we just go in here. We hit examine. And these little arms come out there. And grab us by each of her limbs, which is wild. And plug in the Sheikah Slate here. So they connect us to the tower. And this is what I was talking about with the scanning kind of feature here. It looks so cool. <laughs> it looks so good. Now we go up right to the sky. And we can scan the land to add it to our map. So cool. It's so cool. I love it. It's so sick. Come on now. Come on now. That's so cool. There it is. Our first area. Surface map updated. And, we, and you also get the sky on top of that, which is cool. But any islands in the sky you can see. Which is really, really cool. So there we go. And every time you can go back to the towers anytime you guys want to, and you can actually just uh, get a glide going. And the glide's really good for uh, finding a uh, shrine. So if I see any shrines, I'm definitely going to want to ping them. Let's see if I see any. So you just bring out your little Sheikah Slate. Is that one that I just saw? Yeah, it's one right there. We're going to actually ping that right there. Now, that's not in our land, so I really don't want it. You go back to the map. That is all the way over there, which I do not want. I'm only looking for shrines inside this area right now. And as you get lower, you can actually see better. See how the light kind of adjusts this. And is that one over there? No, it's not. Do we see any on this left side? I think there's got to be some on this left side. Oh, there's one right there. Come on now, jeans. There we go. One right there. Anything else? We can now pull out the glider too, which is awesome. Get a little glider action going. Anything over here? Nothing I see. We're at pinged a few over here, and what I want to actually do is probably glide over to the side. I'm actually going to glide to one. Might as well glide to these shrines. Start finishing them up. But actually, I want to buy uh, armor first. You know, we will float down here. Any other shrines I see? Last check, last check, last check. Nothing. The ones I already pinged over there, I got pinged this one, didn't I? I oh, know I didn't. That's near the other tower. Yeah, we don't want that one. We simply do not want that one. 
But yeah, I'm actually going to go down here and duplicate these rubies just so I can sell them and get the armor. Which is really cool. So I'm going to teach you guys how to duplicate items real quick if you guys want to get a quick buck. But first, talk to this guy. He can open up the... Uh, he can up the, open up the underground thing for us. So we get a praying station, cooking station, all the above. Lovely, cool, dope. And we get a black screen. Exactly what I wanted. Hey, it's me. Open up. There you go. So now it's open for the rest of the game. Great little station there. Which I love. Which I love. But all you need to be able to do is hit two buttons at one time. And on top of that, have a paraglider in order to do this duplication glitch. It's not even really a glitch. This doesn't glitch at the game, but it's really, really cool. But let me show it to you guys real quick. You just need a place to jump at. And I'll jump here. And once you bring out your paraglider, you're going to pause the game. Go grab the item while you're floating. You're going to hold it. You can hold up to five. Right now I have two. And then you want to press Y and B at the same time. So what I do is just like put my thumb across it and press down. So once you hit both of them, they're going to drop. But at the same time, I still have two rubies in my inventory and I can pick up these two. So now I have four. Now I have four and we can do it again. And I can go here, hold all four, hit YB and then pick up all the rubies again. And there we go. We have eight now absolutely amazing isn't that wild that is wild so we'll do it one more time because if you guys get from a higher height you can get like 20 i think 20 is like the max before they start despawning oh yeah i'm gonna come up here hop off here and you can do it multiple times in a run so i'm gonna come here oh, that was a terrible jump let's see if we can do it from here but well, we'll go there bring out the glider hold 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 yb hit plus again we still have eight hold 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 yb plus again <laughs> go down the rubies again Hold, 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 hold. YB plus again. <laughs> and we'll do it one more time. Hold, 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 hold. YB. And look at all these rubies. <laughs> look at all the rubies you get. Infinite amount. Infinite amount. When you get like really good items, it's really useful to use. But it's super, super convenient early game. So from here, now I can go to this little lady right here. She can be like, welcome. I'll be like, hey, yo, I got a bunch of rubies if you want them. Buy my stuff. We can sell these rubies. We'll sell, we'll sell like 13 for right now. That'll be plenty of money for us to get started here. And then we get everything else. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll take all your arrows for my adventure. And we'll grab some armor as well. Awesome, man. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Duplication goods. So, so handy. It's kind of cheap stuff here, but still, it's really good early game. Really, really good early game. So I'll buy them all. I shall buy them all. Nice little Hylian tunic, Hylian hood. I do like the Hylian hood. I used to use it like late game in the last one too. Now I get some decent armor to boost our defense here. So I'll put the trousers on. I'll put the hood on. I'll put the tunic on. And we're ready to rock. We are ready to rock. So let's go over. Let's go do some shrines. So anyway, I can get to this shrine quicker. I can. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast travel to this shrine. And I'm just going to head right over there. Cool. So what I want to do is actually head in like a square, try to finish up these shrines. And if I see any other shrine along the way, we'll do them. But yeah, we've been recording for about 30 minutes. I think another like 15, 20 minutes is going to be perfect for us. And I feel like from here, it's just open world exploring, which is awesome. Open world exploring, doing shrines, unlocking areas, defeat monsters, all that good stuff. We love it. We can head over to this blue, this blue little ping right there. This little shrine there. And if there's any enemies who want to smoke, I'm about it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. What is this right here? Oh, it's just a wagon with like a cloth hanging out. But it looked like water spouting out of it for a second. Kind of threw me off. Kind of threw me off. Can I shield okay. surf here? I can. But that's weak. That's real weak. It's mad weak. We need like a better hill. Kind of go down it. How many bows do I have? Oh, I got plenty of bows. My bows suck, man. <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> Four, four bows. This little thing fell out the sky. And if you can actually rewind them to get up into higher places. Well, we see a few Baka Buns. Nice little bird. Can I snipe them? Ew! Jeans! Knock it off! <laughs> Yo, that was sick. <laughs> what a shot. Get a nice little raw bird drumstick. Like these Baka Buns. I'm a sniper with the arrow. Let's swing at me. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. You just swing at me to start to flurry rush you. Oh, you want to swing? Actually, we're just going to open up. And we can switch our weapon. Uh, I'll use stuff that I haven't. Actually, we'll just use this rusty broadsword. Kill you. 
We'll grab a nice little Boko shield I don't really need. And we'll grab a nice little wood stick just so we can uh fuse some stuff on it. What items do I have that I can fuse? The Bakabun horns are nice, but I can actually uh, drop two of these. Actually fuse these weapons with them to make them stronger. I can fuse it with my rusty broadsword, get a plus three. We can also take out this one and do the same thing. There's some nice horses too. And the best part about this game is if uh if your account played Breath of the Wild, you can uh what's it called? You can actually get your old horses. So in my main account, I have like some rare horses that I got from Amiibo, like a Pona, and I think I have like Zelda's royal horse and all that cool stuff. So it's really, really cool that they added that. I don't have to go farming horses again. Oh, that one just saved that other one's life. One really did. Oh, it's good, man. Oh my god, I dipped that dude so hard. <laughs> Let me snipe this dude behind him. I'm trying to hit this dude in the face back there. This one keeps stepping in front. <laughs> this one keeps stepping in front. And it's kind of annoying me. Ah, he's shooting at me. There we go. Shoot him in the face. Now I can run towards him. I don't want these horns. Come here. See you later, buddy. And yeah, all the horns in the Baku Blend like stuff is really, really valuable. Because you can fuse and they uh help you get more stuff. But these boxes are also really nice to kind of just like drop. Just get some arrows and stuff out of that. Like, look at that. Nice little free six arrows. Arrows come fairly easy in this game. Get a nice little Baku Blend Fang. And another thing that the like the, the monster parts are good for is going to be uh for like creating uh what is it called? Creating I can't even think, like elixirs and potions and stuff to give you like stamina boost, damage boost, defense boost, uh, stealth boost, all that good stuff. We make our way to the third shrine. And again, I want to get at least four. I thought, like I said, we can get done probably five shrines today's video, which is awesome, which is a solid number for us. And we'll get a stamina vessel, all that good stuff. So super, super excited. We can do this. We can skip this little intro and we go to a spinning device. And I don't think this one's crazy hard. The chest is actually super easy to get. Where's the chest at? The chest, you just hop up here and kind of just grab it. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, I thought it was going to bring me out. <laughs> I thought it was going to bring me out. Like, Yo, that's awful. Can I get up here? There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Once you get up there, you can legit just open up the chest and hop off. <laughs> this chest is an easy one. Five arrows. I'll take it all day. And then I'll hop off. But what you want to do in order to actually move forward here is bring out your Ultra Hand. Grab this thing. Put it over here. And you don't even need the wheels. You kind of just need to turn those wheels on. Kind of run up to it. Hey, yo, chill. Where are you going? <laughs> we need you. You want to just put this thing on, run up to it, and hop on it. I can't hop on it right now. Kind of annoying me. Let's bring this one a little bit closer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can't. Give me this. Get back here. You know, we might have to turn this off, but I can actually just, like, move it this way. And kind of just, like, rotate it. Put it this way and put it back a little bit so then I can get a run to start and hop up on it. But you can turn them off just by whacking them. Once you whack them, you can turn them off and kind of just get moving. Yeah, make your way to this side. These shrines are actually very easy. They were, they were kind of cool in the beginning when I did them, but now that I know them, I can just fly through them. But you come here, you can push this thing, open this up, and actually, what you want to can you actually just let this thing like go and move it? Right, will that move that? There we go. You can move it, turn it, and you can go to the next thing. So this one right here was actually kind of tricky. How did I do this? I kind of forget how I did this. There's a little platform here, and there's a way to move it, and I kind of forget how to move it. I think you actually had to just, like, connect it to the top, right? I believe you do. So let's straighten this out. Let's make this a bit easier for us. And bring it this way. Trying to straighten this thing out. There we go. Once we get it straight, we can actually just line up here. And I believe he put it like here. In between the tracks. It will go. Again, in between. There we go. Oh, I almost just died. But I think if you put it in between the tracks, it'll push it. It does. Cool. Awesome. So that's how you finish up this shrine. Put that thing on top. But your creation is really like big in this game. Like, just doing things the unorthodox way is awesome. Because, like, you can figure out different ways to do it than any than the game actually intended you to do it. That's really cool. Like, some shrines you'll see me do, like, a crazy weird way by building some crazy contraption with the Ultra Hand, which I love. 
which I absolutely love. But there we go. Three shrines down today's video so far. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep pushing. We got the paraglider. We got new armor. We unlocked land. And we did a lot in today's video so far. It's just the beginning. So what I want to do is go straight from where we're at because I have another ping over there. And I might fast travel or I might just travel to land because I think traveling land is going to be good for us collecting items that we don't have yet. All that good stuff. So we want to head over to this red one. And there might be more shrines over there or something. There might be, but I don't, I don't believe there is because I, I didn't even explore that part of my uh my main game. In my main game, I pretty much have like this whole right side done. Kind of tackled on the right side first and then was going to tackle on the left side. But it's going to be nighttime and I believe the uh the skull baku buns are going to start spawning. And it is raining. It means apple. Again, apples are our friends. Our bestest of friends. There's a bird. Always like to shoot the birds. Give me the bird thigh. Good for cooking, too. That's really good. Ball bird drumstick. We shall keep moving. There's some horses, too. And, oh, this thing just landed. I feel like I'm going to get smoked in the air by one of those things one time. I <laughs> just get absolutely ripped. That shrine over there. Oh, so only pinged, like, a mile away. We could see that yellow one, which is crazy. It's just wild. And we, I, oh, no. We got keys coming. But keys are really good. They got keys eyeballs, and they're really good for fusion. So where are they at? I kind of want to swing at them. Oh, my lord. Chill. Can I just, like, bomb? Do I have a bomb flower? Oh, my God. I'm going to bomb flower these dudes. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. I just killed myself. <laughs> That is so funny. I wanted to just bomb arrow all of them. I didn't know the bomb was going to take all four of my hearts. That's wild, but that's actually hilarious. I want to give that another run. Spawn me back with the bats. That is probably the funniest death I have did in Breath of the Wild. Well, not Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom. They make our way back to the shrine. We just got to head up this way. Oh, I'm doing it again. And if we load here, does that mean that bird should still be chilling? No, that bird's not there. That means the keys aren't going to come. I want to run it back with the keys. I want to run it back with the keys. Oh, no. This stuff's bad. This might kill me. This thing might kill me. I don't know how to escape this thing. Chill! I might have to fast travel. These things hunt you down from like a mile away. Chill! I'm a fast travel. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. We're going to the tower. Dude, those hands pain the neck. Pain in the neck, especially early game, because you can't do anything about them. Pain in the neck. I'm a fast travel. Those things just rip you up. They chase you around, and they'll kill you. They'll just murder you right on the spot, which is absurd, but it's, it's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So I'm going to fast travel to this tower. We're going to run over to that next try and finish that one up. Get a stamina vessel, and then maybe just do another one. So let's go to the red. I'm, I'm not dealing with the hands, man. I'm not dealing with the hands. We got some sticks there if we want to. I really want to fight that, uh, all those keys again. That could have been pretty cool. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I just saw a board be Oh, keys. Come over here. Come over here, bats. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. There's a nice little board be. Anytime you see a board be, they'll lead you right to a, what's it called? A cave, which is cool. Which is, this one's going to lead us to that cave right over there. Are the keys coming after me? I kind of want it. I kind of want all the smoke. This time I'll keep my distance. Come on, keys. I want it. I want the smoke. <laughs> Come after me. I might just take out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I could have taken out more, but if I would have uh, shot it closer... I definitely would have killed myself again, but that is how it's done. Just shoot a bomb arrow right at him. Get a ton of them. But this little blurpy led us to this cave right here with these little enemies. I think they're called Harbons. That's a pretty cool spot. And we can actually just shoot him in the face. Is there one behind me? Oh, there's one right there. You just shoot him in the face, they'll fall right down. And you can kill him pretty easily. They don't have too much health. Not too much health. I just saw a bomb flower too. Bomb flowers are kind of like... They don't, they don't come too often. So I think it's going to be big for us. And where's this other one at? Oh, hey. Going to rock at me? Chill. Come here. There we go. Take them off the ceiling. Kill these things. They don't really have too much health, but they're kind of a pain. 
Oh, there we go. Take him out. We get a free item. Cool. Oh, cool. I do not believe there's a shrine in here. But I am down to get all these items. We got a break cap. Take a long stick. Long sticks are always solid. I'll take all this and we can actually blow up that rock there because there should be a decent item there, right? What's in a chest? What you got for me? What do you have for me? Spiky spear. I actually want to drop something for that. I'll take that all day. Drop this long spear or long stick. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And do I have any item that has a rock on the end of it or nothing? There we go. I'll take nothing because I can just fuse it with this rock. No, not the bright. Oh, my God. We're just going to have to throw this now. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. Oh, it lit up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But I guess we'll just take this wooden club and we will fuse it with this rock. And the reason I want to do that is because we're going to take out some rocks. And it is easier to use rock on rock. Rock on rock. So we get all that good stuff. And, uh, do I get up there? I can climb up there. I can do a simple climb. Get up there, Link. And we grab all this stuff. Raw meat. We got some bright bloom seeds, giant bright bloom seeds, and bright caps. And now I can destroy this thing. What's over here? Bang, look at that. Big time destroy. And we got an old oh, blurble frog. Love taking these things out. Give me that blurble gem. I got him again. Mwah. Mwah. There you go. Now he's dead. <laughs> now he's a goner. He's going to do his little float to the sky, drop a nice, lovely blurble gem. And is that my first? No, it's my second. Oh, it's my third. It's my third. Now, something I'm curious about. Can I just ascend up here? I can. Awesome. So, if we're getting out of caves, ascend is huge. I really do like ascend. I can just get out these caves and I can just go on my day. And plus, I can glide now. We got to go to red. And there's that red one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the red one right there. And there's more right... I just saw it in the shrine. I could have sworn I just saw another shrine. When I was up there, I saw another shrine. We'll probably see it from red, but let's go to the red one. I think we can bang it. We can definitely bang out one more shrine. I think we'll do one more shrine for today's video and save the other shrines for the next video. That's what we can do in the next video is uh, unlock a new tower, uh, do a few more shrines, all that good stuff, fight a few more enemies, fight some maybe boss enemies because we'll be a bit stronger. But yeah, definitely want to finish this fourth shrine and get yourself some nice lovely stamina vessel. Nice, lovely vessel. I'm sick of running on one one wheel of stamina. It's a pain. It's such a pain. Traveling so hard. Look at these new enemies, though. They're trees. So, like, I'll go up to them, and I'll, like, try getting apples and stuff. And they'll just be trees. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It really is. It really is kind of funny. So make your way over here. And I can't climb this mountain. Are you kidding me? I need to climb this mountain, but it's raining. Rain doesn't stop for a little bit. Oh, dude, rain is such a pain. This is awful. This is awful. There's no, like, step way to get up. You have to climb. So maybe I can stand on this ledge here. I can, which is big time for us. And maybe I can get up onto this ledge and stand up on this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Look at this. Climbing in the rain. Just have to figure out ways around it. You have to find places you can stand. And we can definitely make this climb now. Jump up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the rain? No problem. Over to the Isho Dag Shrine. Straight to the Isho Dag Shrine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, like I said, there's about nine or ten shrines on this little island. This first area. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot. For the areas, maybe it's usually, it's usually like six. I'd say six is about the average. So, this is a lot. So, we have a windy device. So we're going to have to use this fan zone eye device to kind of do this. And I'm kind of trying to remember what we can do. So, I'm pretty sure I can just take this thing, rotate it flat, drop it, and just hit it, and then glider up, right? Certainly. Oh, come on. Get back on that, up on that. Certainly, we can do that. Cool. We do that one. Um, how are we going to do this? Is there a chest anywhere? Chest is over there. How do we do this? Oh, this one's pretty simple. This is just a boat. <laughs> this one's just a boat. Put this thing down flat. Drop it. Grab the Zonai device. Flip it downwards. Do that. Smack it up. Let's get moving. I actually want to uh, put my better sword on. Just in case we gotta fight enemies. But yeah, we'll get moving here. And how do I get that chest? I kind of forget how I get that chest. How do I get that chest? I think we just maybe just like grab something like this. 
move this way. How do I get this chest? I kind of forget how to. So I know I can grab this thing. Actually, let's just take this. Can I create a bridge. Can I like drop you? Can I run up that? I can. Cool. I can actually just grab this with the ultra hand. Can I hold it higher? No, I have to grab it by this. I have to grab it by the chest. Flip it up. Hold it there for a second. Run around here. Switch to our rewind. Rewind that. And we'll flip all the way back around. Chest will come face up. Bang. We can grab it. Beautiful. Awesome. I really did like this puzzle. I really did like this puzzle. We a little bit of opal. So nothing too crazy. Just a nice little mineral. And we can fall back down here. What I want to do here now is just turn this off. Bring back out my Ultran. Grab this. Flip this. On its back. Uh, we want to turn this on, actually. Turn this on. If you look up, it's kind of like a high thing. So you want to grab this thing with the Ultran. Drag it as high as you can. Drop it. And then rewind it. A little bit of rewind action. And you want to hop up inside of it. And then just get up here. Use your glider. And bang. There we go. Done it. Awesome. Finish up that shrine. And there it is. The fourth shrine for today's video, which is really cool. So we get four shrines done, we get armor, we get the paraglider, we do a little bit of cutscene, we do a little bit of fighting, mainly shrine work in today's video, and plus, we're gonna finish off today's video with a nice little stamina vessel. Cannot go wrong with a stamina vessel. Love me some stamina, especially when you start to like stack the stamina vessels, you just start running for days, it's just so useful. It really is. So cool, we know where there is like a few other shrines and I think I can should be able to see a shrine. There should be a shrine up on that little island straight up where, above where we're at, but I can't really see too much. Kinda sucks. Right, is that in our land? It is not. It is not in our land, so I'm just gonna delete this pin. I see anything from over here. Before I do a little fast trap one. It sucks like when you're in the rain, you can't see too much. But no, I don't see really anything. I'll definitely check. In, uh, the next time we hop on. But there we go. Travel to Lookout Landing. We can just fast travel now to that little, uh, the little Pura Tower. They were called Sheikah Towers in the last game. I don't think they're called Pura Towers. There's, uh, Sky Towers now. But I just remember so much from Breath of the Wild that, like, they changed, like, the language and, like, a little, little thingsness, like, giving us the Pura Pad instead of the Sheikah Sleet. <laughs> like, come on now. Just give us the Sheikah Sleet back. But again, new game, all that good stuff. We fast travel back to Lookout Landing, and since we open up that little thing, we can actually just uh, head over to it. And like I said, anything you need is in this little bunker. You can cook, you can cook more, you can cook even more, and you can pray. <laughs> That's what you can do here, which is awesome. So I'm going to go to the praying station. We can pray, cash in four blessings of light for a stamina vessel or a heart container. And I'm going to pick the stamina vessel because... Our last four we had, we got ourselves a heart. So now we have one stamina vessel, one heart container, which is awesome. Dope, dope, dope. Cool. Love it. I love it. I love it. So our stamina boot wheel is going to go up just a little bit, but it makes it makes the most. Having a lot of stamina is really big in this game, especially because you got to climb a lot. You got to run around the lane a lot. All that good stuff. And there we go. Cool. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. As in the next part, we're going to be finishing up exploring the first land within this game. We're going to be completing more shrines. And we should be able to head towards wherever we want. I'll probably head towards this right side because I know there's a cool little armor piece over here. And we can start making our way towards this area because over here is going to be a big part of the main story. So, yeah, we'll be unlocking a new area in the next episode as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.